and welcome to my channel today we've got this nine amp high demand milwaukee battery and it's shown one flashing light if we put it on the old charger we have milwaukee christmas the flashing red and green light on a tool just to see but it's not going to do anything for us it's been on the led light but that's all it's going to do for us voltage we've got a none too impressive 12.7 12.8 volts coming out of the battery that's none too impressive for an m18 which is an 18 volt battery but can reach 20 volts when it's fully charged people like the jump start method of battery repair but it doesn't work as often as people think that's all I'll say about that. I'm going to dig into this and see what else is going on. Those four screws out, be able to take the top off there. And we can test individual banks of cells using this meter here. That's showing 3.3 volts. You can see that. This next one is showing the same 3.3. This is not bad. So far, so good. Third one, 3.23. Not so bad. There's something taking down the voltage. There's nothing in that one. That's actually showing nothing. So, yeah, 3.3. So we have a cell bank here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think bank 4 has said goodnight. So what we're going to do is replace these three cells. These three cells have to go. Well, these three actually. Yeah. These three. They're the ones that are reading zero. This is a 9 amp battery. We've got uh, 3000 milliamp cells in the, in the pack. As Lady Luck would have it. I have these Samsung ANR 18650-30Q cells. These are 3000 milliamp cells and be perfect replacements for the ones in this pack. Um, we already know the voltage of the banks of cells here. So, um, 3.28 which would be 3.3. .3. These are sitting at 3.45. So before we do cell replacement, there's something we must do to try and bring these banks up a little bit. If we put them 3.45s on, um, the voltage will not balance across the pack. It'll be a wee bit different. You'll get slight cell imbalance in that bank. So I'm going to enlist the help of this 9 amp DeWalt flex volt. What I'm going to do is connect negative to negative and positive to positive. So hopefully this uh, flex volt can drive a little bit more power into the cells that are still viable. It'll do nothing to revive the ones that aren't. But hopefully bring the other ones up a little bit. And even we go a wee bit too high, we can uh, we can always charge the 30 Qs up to match. Let's see. Seven. See if we can drive a bit of drive a bit of power into three three seven. I 
disconnect to see what we have for a moment. Three point three four. We're coming closer to three point four five. So that's good. Might need an oil a little burst. Might need one with a slightly more charge on it. A different one to see if we can get a little bit more power on it. I don't need much more. Very little will do it. Three seven. It is going up. See the voltage is starting to creep up. It's three point four three there at the moment. Um, we have to get it up to three point four five as I said earlier. And the better balanced the pack is, the higher voltage your battery will achieve when it's fully charged, and also. Cell imbalance is enough for a pack to stop working. To achieve the voltage we want, we've got 3.45 on the multimeter. Although that brought the other cells up to a voltage that's closer to their new cells, um, it done nothing really for the bad bank. That's it's a goner. Those cells are defective and need to be replaced still. Our next step is to remove the old ones here. Just want to pop these three spot welds off this side. I'll have to remove this whole side. In fact, LG cells, you know, not Samsung, but yeah, still a good cell. Quick volt check will confirm what we already know. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Nice Samsung ones again. We're going to just scruff up the edges. 
I buff them up with the Dremel and get them ready for putting.
left all the rough soldering done, so nothing remains to do but put it back into the case. Uh, right. That's nice. Right, that's it back together. Let's try it in the charger, see if it's any benefit. Yep, it's showing that it's charging. So I'll have to leave it there for a little while and see if it takes a full charge. Some time has elapsed now, as you can imagine. And we've got that lovely green light. That's what we were waiting for all along. Green light on the charger, full bars. If I put this on a tool, this is the moment of truth. I'm calling that fixed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.